Hey everybody, Ben here with WeGo Fishing, and in this video I'm going to give you a little bit of a walkthrough of our 2020 Mako Pro Skiff 15. Karen's behind the camera. She can say hi. Hi. Alright, uh, she's doing the camera work. But I want to talk to you a little bit about this boat because we just bought it. Uh, we've taken it out once on its maiden voyage. We had an awesome time. I'll put the link in the video somewhere up in this area here. We'll put the link to the video of that trip. But in any case, why did we buy this boat? That's the first question I want to answer. Why did we buy this boat? Well, we looked at the Mako Pro Skip 17, and then I talked to the, the, the guy who was selling the boats and things. He said there really wasn't that much of a difference between a 15 and a 17. You do get one more live well, uh, which is could be important if you need that. Um, but really, in space-wise, there's not a whole lot more of usable space. The second reason why we bought the 15 is because it had to fit in my garage, which is probably the first reason, but I'll make it the second reason because it, it sounds better that way. In any case, uh, the first thing I want to show you is under here. This is the, the hall, the bottom hall. You see, it's almost got kind of like a catamaran type design. It's got the two, uh, two sides to it, and it's got a tunnel that goes through it, which is really awesome for stability. So here in the back of the boat, you'll see that we have the Mercury uh, four-stroke, a uh, 40 horsepower. There is one, I think, that comes with a 65, which is a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, but the 40, they said, moves just fine. We didn't have any issues with 40. It moved just fine. I did upgrade uh, to the stainless steel prop because I like stainless steel prop because I'll cut through a little bit better. Uh, so this is the, the engine that drives it. It's got a five-year warranty on that, which is awesome, which I think is great. Um, really, five-year warranty on pretty much the whole boat. Um, so that, that's a very good feature for this 2020 Mako Pro Skip. Uh, here in the back of the boat, on the underside, the back rear casting deck on the underside, if you want to get the camera, you can see you have the gas tank on this side, but then you've got your battery on this side. You've got a bilge pump down there, but you still have plenty of storage space. If you wanted to put another battery back there, you could. Um, but plenty of storage space for tackle or whatever else you're going to put in there. The next thing that I want to point out for a feature is the seat. Um, because this is your, your captain's seat, but it's also a cooler. And I think it's a 65-quart cooler, uh, which is great. Um, I believe Mako owns the Orion Company. And so they're able to make this. It's great. It's locked down. It's removable as well. Um, so it's a great, great feature for fish, for tackle, whatever you're going to do. On the console here, you have a few buttons. You don't really have a whole lot. Um, but you have a few buttons here. You have your power button, which allows you to kill power uh, to the whole boat so you're not draining your whole battery the whole day. You have your bilge pump. You have your lights. On this side, you have your aerator, which we'll get to in a moment, as well as your horn. And you have a 12-volt uh, cigarette plug outlet. Underneath the, the console, you do have an area here for some storage as well. We've got a fire extinguisher. Got to have your safety equipment. That's important. There's also some trays in there for some storage as well. Four rod holders on this side. You have one rod holder on the other side as well as a little tray uh, for putting. Maybe you want your pliers. Maybe you want uh, something to put in there. You have that on this side. I got my electronics mounted here with the low ranks hook five um, because that's what I'm used to using. I had low ranks before and I like them, so I had them put that in here as well. On the front of the boat, as you move up to the front, you'll see also you have your live well. Big live well in here, uh, very plentiful. You could even probably, you could use this live well, definitely a bait well, a uh, shrimp, mullet, whatever it might be, plenty of room in there for that aerated air well, and it kind of sits back and tucks back for a nice seat here as well. That is the garage. Okay, here on the front of the boat, you have a compartment for your anchor line or maybe a cast net if you wanted to. Uh, you could put that in there, which is very nice. Uh, nice storage there. And then you have another storage compartment, a very large storage compartment here on the hydraulics. And it's, it's huge. I've actually got the 24 volt system uh, for my trolling motor, which I'll get to in a moment. But this is a very large storage area. You can put a lot of stuff in here, which is great. And as we put it down, you can actually have locks for it. So say you're, you're getting off the boat for a little while, but you want to make sure your stuff is secure, you can lock that down, key it down, and whatever's in there is nice, airtight, and secure. Where I spent my money, I saved a little bit of money on the boat because I spent a little bit of money on the trolling motor. This is the Mincona Terranoa, uh, the iPilot, which I'm telling you right now, this trolling motor right here is a game changer. Um, the idea of being able to control it from a remote is awesome. Being able to put it in the water, hit the lock button, so there's a GPS lock, so it just stays in that position, is awesome. I put the 24 volt system on it. Uh, that way I power all day or maybe even two days. Uh, plenty of power there, plenty of thrust, and uh, really, really is a great trolling motor. 
So in any case, this is the 2020 Mako Pro Skiff 15. I hope you enjoy this little walkthrough. I'm not ready to do a review yet because I've only had it on, out on the water once. So I want to kind of get used to it, make sure I understand some of the pros, the cons, things like that about it. But so far, I can just tell you it's been all pros. Really have enjoyed this. The family's enjoyed it. There's five of us. There's plenty of room on this boat, which is great. Um, but in any case, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends. Maybe you have a question about the Mako that I did not answer. You can put a comment in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get to it as soon as I can. Hey, thanks for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like Ben said, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Also in the comments below, if you can tell us how the best way to keep our gel coat clean, that would really help us out. We're new to boating and all that, and we don't know the best way to keep this clean. It gets dirty really easy, but I'm sure you have some tricks up your sleeve. Please let us know in the comments, and may you always catch your limits.